Hair and Skin Response Another warning sign that lightning is about to strike is when you feel static electricity on your body. When the electric field becomes strong enough, electrons in the air begin to move freely. They accumulate on surfaces and small particles in the air, creating localized electric fields. Human hair and skin respond quickly to this charge. Each strand acts like a tiny antenna reacting to the field's pull. You might also feel a tingling sensation on your skin, especially on your arms or head. This is caused by ions moving across your skin, trying to balance the electrical difference between you and the air. The same process that sparks a small shock when you touch metal after walking on carpet, only far more intense. Once your body starts interacting with the field, it means the air around you is already conducting electricity. This happens because the electric field between the ground and the storm cloud has become very strong. It's important to understand this is not a coincidence or something to laugh about. If you experience this, you are in immediate danger. The lightning channel may be forming directly above or even through you. The best reaction is to move away from open areas. Do not lie flat. The moment you feel static or see your hair rising, you have only a few seconds before the discharge happens. Electrical sounds. Right before a lightning strike, you may hear strange electrical noises around you. It can sound like a faint buzzing, crackling, or even clicking noise. These sounds often come from metal objects such as fences, poles, backpacks with metal frames, or even jewelry. What you're hearing is electricity moving through the air, small electrical discharges that happen when the electric field becomes extremely strong. The electric field forces electrons to jump short distances between nearby objects, creating quick sparks that are too small to see, but strong enough to hear. Metal surfaces amplify these effects because they offer an easy path for electric charges to move. A continuous buzzing usually means the air is already ionized. Short, sharp clicks often mean tiny sparks are jumping between objects. The stronger and more frequent these noises become, the closer the atmosphere is to reaching its electrical limit. If you ever hear this sound, do not try to locate where it's coming from. Move away immediately from metal objects and open areas. The next discharge is often a full lightning strike. Blue Glow Sometimes, lightning also gives a visible warning just before it strikes. You might see a faint blue or purple glow on metal objects, tree tips, or poles. This phenomenon is called St. Elmo's fire. It occurs when the electric field becomes so strong that it starts to ionize around sharp points and edges. The process excites nitrogen and oxygen molecules, causing them to emit light similar to what happens inside a neon sign. In some cases, you might also notice thin, fast flashes rising upward from the ground. These are microstreamers, the first stage of a lightning channel forming. Sharp or pointed objects, such as antennas or treetops, help concentrate this electric field, making the glow more visible there. In other words, microstreamers are thin threads of ionized air that begin rising from the ground, searching for a connection to the cloud. When those threads link up with a downward leader from the storm, a lightning bolt completes the circuit. If you ever see this blue glow or faint upward sparks, it means a strike could happen within seconds. Move indoors or to a closed vehicle immediately. The metal frame of a car acts like a Faraday cage, guiding the electrical current around the outside instead of through the people inside. Ozone and metallic smell. Just before or right as lightning is about to strike nearby, some people notice a sharp, crisp smell in the air. This smell is ozone. You're likely familiar with it, the same sharp scent you notice around photocopiers or large printers. As these machines work, oxygen molecules in the air are converted into ozone, creating this distinctive smell. This chemical reaction occurs naturally during strong electrical discharges, even before the lightning channel fully forms. The higher the charge in the atmosphere, the stronger this smell becomes. In some cases, people also report a faint metallic taste in their mouth. This is because charged ions in the air interact with moisture and trace metals on the tongue. It's a clear warning that the air around you is highly charged and unstable. Electronic Static As the storm's electric field intensifies, it distorts nearby radio waves and electromagnetic signals. Devices that rely on these frequencies, like radios or wired headphones that act as small antennas, detect the interference as bursts of static or crackles. If you're using an AM radio, you may hear loud bursts of static or popping sounds, even between stations. The static you hear is the sound of the atmosphere's electrical chaos just before it releases energy. The stronger the interference, the closer the discharge source is. Pressure and Temperature Shift 
Before lightning strikes, the air around you can suddenly feel cooler. This happens because thunderstorms create powerful updrafts. They draw warm, moist air upward so rapidly that surface air pressure falls in seconds. This pressure drop allows cooler air from higher layers to rush downward, creating a sudden chill or gust that people can feel. When pressure and temperature change quickly together, it signals that the storm's core and its electrical activity are overhead. This shift often occurs just before the first lightning flash. Blue Flash Sometimes, lightning gives another quick visual warning right before it strikes the ground. You may see a brief blue or rarely white flash in the sky, but strangely, there's no thunder yet. The bluish color comes from ionized air emitting short wavelength light just before the main strike. This silent flash happens because the lightning channel is forming. The air between the cloud and the ground becomes ionized, creating a path for the discharge to follow. In this phase, electrical energy is aligning but hasn't yet discharged, which is why there's no sound. A few seconds later, the main strike usually follows. If you notice such a quick, colorless, or bluish flicker without sound, it's one of the last warnings you might get. If you liked this video, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.